on this edition of the news! Mission fleet turning up everywhere! 40th anniversary Wave 3 has been spotted across America. The Wave 26 of the Black Series, the Clone Trooper and the Storm Trooper have a nifty little surprise inside their helmet. And a really cool interview featuring one of the stars of The Mandalorian. All this and more coming up. my television where I spent the last half an hour standing up my action figures after bumping the shelf on the way in. Fantastic. <laughs> What's new? Anyway, glad to have you back again. Mission Fleet. Remember a couple of episodes ago I put that video up. What happened to Mission Fleet? Now Mission Fleet's everywhere. Mission Fleet is turning up in stores across the US here in Australia at Toy Mates. Um, let's have a look at some of the cool stuff. Check this out. First up, there's that Mando speeder bike. That's going to be the popular one that everyone's going to love. There's also the Bark Speeder Obi-Wan. And the thing I keep calling the ATST is the ATRT and Clone Trooper. There are about three per case for this size vehicle. Uh, my friend Dean Birch picked up the Mando speeder bike, like most of us will. There is an insert of the tray, all the accessories, his little video. Where he's showing off the backpack and you can swap it out for the cape if you want to looking pretty cool also the child that comes with it in the pod is almost the same size as the black series version that we have already they're all up for available for pre-order on bbts in the series as well, there's also that Darth Vader and TIE Advanced, and Anakin Skywalker and his Jedi Starfighter, and also Luke Skywalker and his X-Wing Fighter. They will continue to add this line. We've already seen the first four, and then these are the, the biggest stuff. And there's also a Falcon as well coming. Ooh, it doesn't look like it's slowing down. If you want some of this stuff, you'll know where to find it. Nothing's exclusive for this, so it should turn up in your regular department stores. And speaking of Falcon, there is a little video. I don't know if I can play the music from the video, but there's a little bit I can show you with sound effects and stuff. This is the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run version. Check this out. I suggest a new strategy, R2. Let the Wookiee win. R5, free flight diagnostics report. <laughs> Things are getting too hot. We've got to get out of here. Awesome stuff, a little advert out there. I was going to put it on my IGTV, but you have to have a minute long video. So this only goes for about 40 seconds. Great, so it, it makes it look impressive, but I, I think a comment from my friend, Only One Kenobi, said they'd like some more weathering on it to make it grittier and dirtier, and maybe the studio lighting for the advert make it look like it's clean, if you could say that. We'll wait and see how they look when they turn up. Okay, 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back cards. They have been spotted. Here's a few of them. The first one I'm going to show you is the Luke and Luke Dagobah and the Vader. Very nice. There's also this one, the Boba Fett. So these are Target stores in the US. And also at Target has been spotted the Imperial Snow Trooper as well. Of course, in that wave, the Boba Fett will be very collectible. It is... Very similar to the one up here, but Empire Strikes Back card and in the regular colouring, not in the Kenner Decos. Next up, remember I told you about Hong Kong having a little expo and this is like a stall and there was some Hasbro stuff in there? Well, they had a Hasbro one in Taiwan and check out some of these pictures here. Wow! How about all those Clone Trooper 3 packs? <laughs> Amazing stuff. Now, if you look uh, down the bottom, you'll see... Obviously, there's the Hoth Wampa, and look at the size of the Endor set. That'll give you a, an idea of how big it is in comparison to the other stuff that you already know roughly the size of. 
I tried to look for a bit of video of this. This came off the Hasbro Taiwan Facebook page. Obviously, there's no conventions in the world. This is as close as we can get to any kind of display like this at the moment. Awesome. Now, Retro Collection Wave 2. You guys in the UK, get down to Asta. Thank you to UK Toy Collector for showing them all out there. I think they are, what, nine pound? Something like that. Excellent. I really love the Retro Wave, and I hope they continue with more. Having said that, I do want you to go and check out a video from The Junk Man. He has rumours of Wave 3 of what they're going to do next year with the, the lineup. They may do straight up Jedi, six figures, or they may mix it up a little bit, but check that video out from The Junk Man. Awesome. Now, Kevin Sexton, the toy smuggler. He uh, is the one working on the Bantha, the unreleased Bantha that he's making for the fans strike back i believe it is that's <laughs> anyway he had an interview with dominic pace now this guy was in the mandalorian and here's a few highlights of that video all right guys kevin the toy smoker here we're here in dalton georgia battlegrounds comics and games and boy we got a treat for you guys today dominic pace bounty hunter man glad you're here thank you so much welcome to dalton man happy to be here thanks Please, for having me tell everybody all this exciting things that you done told me please inform everybody man well it's been a 10,000 mile round uh, trip uh road trip for my uh, son and i uh we started in hollywood we're going we went as far north as dearborn heights michigan as far east as miami florida uh we we're stopping over 30 comic book stores uh, supporting small business promoting my bounty hunter character which i believe in so much gecko the bounty hunter from episode one and three of the mandalorian and uh, it's just been amazing. Obviously, a lot of things got canceled this year, um, yeah. but I figured out a way to give back uh, to a lot of the small businesses around the country, as well as promote the uh, the, the, the bounty hunter and uh, also have an amazing father-son trip. It's been a dream come true. Hey, man, any way you can get be with your family and do a road trip, man, you can't be and being with your son, man. Man, these are memories he's never going to forget. Well, plus man. Star Wars. Oh, and Star Wars. I mean, man, you get the total package going on here. Yeah. And, and I think. Well, my first play set when I was a kid in 1980 was the Cantina play set. So to walk on to a Star Wars Cantina as a one of a kind bounty hunter, not to mention George Lucas being at the bar talking with John Favreau, <laughs> and at the same time getting to pick out my own blaster, my own bounty hunter got, blaster. Oh my gosh. I said, for every Star Wars fan, you know, whether you're a Jedi fan, you know, to pick out your own lightsaber or a Sith fan, pick out your own Sith weapon, or for a bounty hunter fan like me, I love the six original OGs, you know, IG-88, Boba, Boss, those guys. Uh, to be able to pick out my own blaster was just a dream come true. So thank you, Kevin. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Kevin. He's almost at a thousand subscribers. He's pumped. Awesome stuff. Great co YouTube content from him as well. Next up, the D4. In the line with all the rest of them is the Luke and Yoda. It's an awesome figure. Here it is spotted in Washington State. Excellent. Here it is in New Zealand. Unbelievable. And this one is in Walmart for $39.84, which is unreal because normally they're about $44. Bargains at Walmart. Excellent. It is available here in Australia for up to $90, I believe. It is in Aussie dollar reduced, whether you buy it online or at bricks and mortar. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of money, but a beautiful two-pack figure. Excellent. And finally, we have a glam shot of the Darksaber from the Mandalorian. This was first seen at Toy Fair, but look at this. Woo! Looks lovely. I remember watching Forces of Destiny the other day with my daughters, and I did see Sabine Wren use this as well. <laughs> That's like, interesting. But as we know, we saw it in the final episode of The Mandalorian, spoiler alert. And there it is. You'll be able to wield it soon. It is not exclusive. It should turn up in stores. It's about 30 US dollars. So there you go. Now the big news about these figures that are coming soon. So you've probably seen this image here from Daming Toys in hand shot of Wave 26 of the Black Series. If you want to call it Wave 1 of Phase 4, you can. As you know, it contains Vader, Snowspeed, Luke, Admiral Akbar, Tebow, The Mandalorian in his Beskar armor, a Stormtrooper from The Mandalorian and a Clone Trooper in Kamino. These last two, thanks to Crimson Dawn Collectibles on their Instagram, showed us an image from one of the people on a Facebook page that they found. So it's a long circle of friends. <laughs> long line of people. Anyway, got the two figures. The Stormy and the Kamino Clone Trooper. And check this out. There's a face, or not a face, a head under the helmet with no face. 
Does that make any sense to you at all? So instead of just molding a giant big helmet that's oversized or an undersized one, they put a shaped size head in the helmet so it kind of looks a bit authentic. How can I say that better? So it's the right size, yeah. So there's a head under there. And apparently you couldn't pry the head out of there because it's glued in really well. But yeah, a, a, fa a faux head, a facade of a head <laughs> inside the helmet. Unreal. So it gives you good size comparison for your figures. They will be, they're due out that wave in October, but people are starting to get them now. So they're imminent. So within now to October, keep checking your stores. That wave will drop very, very soon. Online retailers have them set dates, but brick and mortar stores, when they're just regular figures, they'll be any time from now till then. Lastly, I want to share this image with you. This is from one of my subscribers of a very fine collection of stuff. There is, in this photo, all four gaming greats and all the carbonized figures, missing Vader and R2-D2 Jawa and the D4 Luke and Yoda, which we talked about earlier. Impressive collection nonetheless. Very, very nice. Anyway, that's a quick little news bite for you today. Not one of those epic long 17 minute hauls. <laughs> Just before I go, I do want to also tease this action figure is epic. I want to show you off something today, and I just want to just love looking at that face. As you know, with action figures, human faces are my thing. I know you can be into droids, you can be into aliens, but for them to sculpt a human face to perfection, that is really, for me, action figure is its finest. Like, you know, it doesn't matter whose face it is, as long as they knock it out of the park I'm impressed and that is a very good example number 111 if you're following along with the numbers at home excellent anyway that'll do me today thank you for watching Amazon affiliates in the link down below buying something from the Amazon store helps out the channel so thank you very much also Redbubble as well I've got some merch buy something really really nice I make a little bit of a cut out of that to help out the channel so thank you very much if you want to follow me on social media I'm on Twitter at usualmike30 or on Instagram at usually my television. If you want to send some fan mail, it's here at PO Box 957, Lisbon, New South Wales 248 Australia. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, Ooh. tap the little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.